Raptors with a singular focus as they got off the team bus, looking to lock down a valuable win on the road. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. And tonight, we've got the Los Angeles Lakers playing against the Toronto Raptors. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, former NBA players Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony with David Aldrich joining us courtside. Here are the five for the Raptors. They've got Pippen. Michael Jordan is out there with Tracy McGrady. And it's Robinson. And it's Rem Benyama in at the four. And for the Lakers, we've got Kevin Love. Harden out there with Luka Doncic. Then it's Anthony, and it's Howard in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, great, both of these teams love to push the pace. Think we're in for a high-speed game? That's a safe assumption, yeah. I mean, but that'll also make this a serious test of stamina. It'll be hard for them to outrun each other all night long. Here we go. Be the Raptors off the tip. Yo. Hit that mic. See, you guys share that screen. It is. No, it ain't. McGrady against Harden. Now the pass to Wembenyama. Here's McGrady. Kicks it to Robinson. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Six on the shot clock. Here's Jordan. Releases from the wing and drills it. It's graceful. There's a level of dignity that Jordan has on the floor. Just so classy about everything he does. Now here's Anthony. Harden outside. On the wing, does it? That three off the mark. Yeah, they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Here's Wimbenyama. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Showing he's more than just an interior threat. Wimbenyama also possesses that reliable jump shot. Harden the pass to Doncic. No good from outside. Good job by the D to stay with him and make that a tough three. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their star. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Scotty Pippen at the line for two. No good on the free throw. And one outstanding things the Raptors do, Greg, they really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. And he sinks the second. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A. just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. And that's leadership right there. Anthony wanting to work the rock over to an open teammate. McGrady against Harden. Jordan inside. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. Now, here's Doncic. And stolen by Jordan. Shoots over Doncic. The rebound by the Lakers. 
And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. Anthony, and the shot goes down. And this is proof that Anthony is just undeniable sometimes. Even the contact can't stop him from getting off that shot. And he's got his first chance at the line here. First team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Carmelo Anthony. One shot. One shot. That free throw good from Anthony. Oh, GA, the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. Oh, my! Nice finish. Love the show of force there from Robinson. When, when he's deep inside, it is clear for takeoff. Here is Harden. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. But three... Connects from three-point range. And that's one of his strengths, knocking down those long-range jump shots. Harden against McGrady. Down low. Donchich with the steal. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Harden. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. No one does this better than Harden. Makes trouble inside and draws a good foul. Lakers shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Shooting two. That one drops. He ties it up. And at this stage in Harden's career, he's all about winning. He wants to win as many titles as he can. Leonard, he's checked in for Kevin Love. And Toronto also making a switch. Paul Pierce is checked in for Victor Wembenyama. That misses, so he splits the free throws. You can tell that miss at the line might stick with him for a while. Always hurts to miss a chance to take the lead. On the wing, Tracy McGrady. Baseline jumper. Rebounded by Howard. For Los Angeles, they've gone three and five, shooting the ball so far. Leonard against Pippen. Leonard dishes to Hart. Six to shoot. Over McGrady. Kicks it out to Leonard. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. And here's Jordan outside. Pierce feeling it out of him. Robinson sets a screen for Pierce over Harden. And the basket by Pierce. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Anthony against Pierce. Passes it to Doncic. Back to Harden. The Lakers moving the ball around. Leonard, the pass to Anthony. Let's it go from deep. Los Angeles with another miss. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Los Angeles has gone 1 of 5 from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Harden finds Howard. To the middle. Here's Doncic. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Creating space. Doncic will move defenders around. The Raptors have gone five of nine from the field here in the first. McGrady passes to Jordan. And the 
to call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And some changes here for the Lakers. Kevin Garnett, he's checked in for Howard. And is Wade in for Doncic. And Toronto also making a switch. Weber's checked in. throw good Jordan and the defining trait of the greatest of superstars Jordan makes the players around him better mentally in terms of effort and in terms of their performance Harden has a wide open look buries the long range jumper Harden's got seven and that's exactly what he's looking for draining the triple McGrady against Wade to Jordan over Harden and that one goes long and so Harden will bring it up for the Lakers 55 seconds left in the first Garnett with the screen for Harden Garnett right side down to five on the shot clock and it's clocked Pierce against Wade. Here's Jordan. Good, and Pierce gets the assist. Nine points in the game so far. And his passing is probably the most underrated part of his game. Pierce is a terrific playmaker on that wing. On the wing, Harden. Guarded by Jordan. Harden's shot is off. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Wade against McGrady. Pierce with a screen on Wade. McGrady kicks to Pierce. Oh, my! He'll go to the line with a chance for a four-point play. It's on Kevin Garnett. First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. Shooting for Toronto. Paul Pierce. One shot. Free throw, no good for Paul Pierce. Michael Jordan getting it done for Toronto. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Back right after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Toronto? They've made a point to take what's given to them in the mid-range. The jumpers are falling for them so far. And also have to bring up their passing game. They, they've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. Wade out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Anthony. Then it's Garnett. And it's Chamberlain in its center. That's the Laker five. Weber outside. Outside, Pierce. They get the rebound. Weber gets the bucket. Weber. Weber's got the lead up to seven now for the Raptors. Comfortable operating close inside. Weber sizing up the defense there and understands how to finish. And Anthony gets it to go. And Greg, when they talk about youth development, the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work. When, when did that change? It, 
it's kind of a recent development, maybe the last 10 or 15 years, but it's amazing how the game has evolved. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. The Lakers remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm preaching daily preparation. From the rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice times and your shoot-arounds. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin, I'm very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you for that detailed report. Lakers trail by four. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. Wade's got his third assist on the night. Pippen against Leonard. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. For three, Pierce. It's rebounded by Kevin Garnett. A, a close to making the defense pay for the last coverage that time. Leonard, the pass to Wade. The three from Anthony. Rebound by the Raptors. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Hypo's try. Garnett with the block. Wade surveying the D. Outside Leonard. Now here's Wade. D right on him. That evens the score. Wade's got his first points of the night. And that was a smart pass by Leonard. Willing to share it. Marbury passes to Duncan. Over Chamberlain. No good from Duncan. By Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that I'm defense was. Down. And boy, did he get up quick. Started to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Chamberlain, Harden comes in for Garnett, and Luka Doncic subbed in for Wade. And here is Los Angeles now. Only given up two points this quarter. Here's Doncic. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. And we've talked about the skill. Doncic has polished his game at a very young age, and that pump fake was a seasoned veteran's move. Shooting two. And that one misses. The all-around game of Doncic is impressive. A, a walking triple-double threat every night. And the Lakers making a change here. Garnett's checked in. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply, Greg, one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple-double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. Harden kicks to Garnett. To the paint. Here's Doncic. Kicks it out to Harden. Sinks the three-pointer. Harden's got the lead up to two now for the Lakers. Dangerous with and without the rock. Harden is accurate on the catch and shoot. McGrady against Harden. Now here. 
Here's McGrady. Guarded closer. Five on the clock. Ben Benyama sets a screen for Jordan. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Three-pointer. Jordan's got 14. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. And a deep three from Harden. Another shot. And the rejection by Wembenyama. Here's the pass to Jordan. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. And now it's a three-point Raptor lead. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Rodgers outside. Anthony on the wing. Two minutes in the first half. Two minutes. And he uses the glass on the lane. Ten points for him. This is the skill of Anthony on full display, able to knock that one down in close. Here's McGrady. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. McGrady against Harden. Pippen with the steal. McGrady against Harden. McGrady kicks to Pippen. From deep. The rebound by Garnett. Garnett's got his fourth rebound in this one. Doncic finds Anthony. Pippen with the steal. And now here's Pippen with the fast break chance. The shot by Pierce will not go. Defense pulled out all the stops and shut him down there. Harden surveying the D. 43 seconds left in the first half of the game. Pass to Anthony. Shot clock at five. Here's Garnett. The rebound by Victor Wembenyama. Raptors leading by three. The feet to Pierce. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Harden with it. Now McGree defending. Toronto's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. It's stolen by Anthony. To the inside. Here's Garnett. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. And when Garnett gets it that deep, the D is at his mercy. How about the extension when he's able to get up on that low block? And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Raptors lead by one. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at Michael Jordan in this game, he has been everywhere. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. So the Raptors five right now. They've got Tracy McGrady. Robinson is out there with Victor Wembenyama. It's Michael Jordan, and it's Pippen in at the three. You gotta chase Harden off that three-point line. He is too good of a shooter to be given any airspace from that line. Jordan outside. Takes it from 10. 
No good. Nice team from Doncic. Harden with it. Robinson picks him up. Fires top of the key. Anthony's shot is off. Toronto trailing. McGrady outside. It's rebounded by Doncic. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Victor Wembanyama is drawing admirers far and wide, including some who know their hoops, like LeBron James. LeBron says he's for sure a generational talent. Everybody's been a unicorn over the last few years, but he's more like an alien. Nobody has ever seen him more as tall as he is, but as fluid and as graceful as he is out on the floor. Kevin? Yeah, David, you and I agree he is different. McCready with the ball. He's picked up by Doncic. The pass to Wembenyama. And here is Jordan. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. And that's now 18 points for Michael Jordan. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Lakers shoot their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And the defensive prowess of Howard is simply phenomenal. Not only a shot blocking master, but his mere presence alone makes shooters incredibly nervous. That one misses. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations, but he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. Doncic against Jordan. Harden inside the three-point line, and the Lakers with another miss. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's It's been a while. Outside Jordan. Over Love. Gets the bucket and the foul. That one on Love. Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. Michael Jordan. One shot. throw good Jordan a touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter pass to Doncic and Love has it in the corner the shot's good on the assist by Doncic Doncic has got four assists in the game Houghton from the corners loves ability to stretch out the defense is so valuable it really opens up things for their entire offense Here's McGrady, and it's sent back by Howard. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the Lakers get called for the foul. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line for Raptors, David Robinson, shooting one. One shot. falls for Robinson. Yeah, and Robinson 
is a franchise defining talent, a, a chiseled, powerful center, a remarkable leader. Howard with a screen on Jordan. Miles wide open. He fires. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Jordan outside. Clock at six. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Howard's got his fourth rebound in this one. Harden finds Doncic. Howard with a screen on Jordan. For the lead. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call. He will shoot two. That's on David Robinson. And Howard living at the line, all about knocking him down. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Toronto. I like how they've been attacking the lane. It's been beautiful. All game long, they've been successful, penetrating, and getting offensive production. And they've also played exceptionally well in the paint tonight, taking advantage of their opportunity to work inside. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Leonard, he's checked in for Kevin Love. Paul Pierce has checked in for the Raptors. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. So, timeout called here, the first for Toronto. You gotta like what Harden has done this game so far. They have to come up with a new wrinkle defensively because he is killing them from deep. Let's hear it from The Raptors have gone 4 of 9 from the floor so far in the third. Floats it up for Pippen. Jordan's shot is off. L.A. has gone 7 of 15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Jordan against Doncic. Oh, the shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got six assists here tonight. And the strength of Howard is tremendous, which makes him hard to stop when he catches it that low. Pass to Jordan. Knocked away to end the run. And the layup falls. Jordan's got 23. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Anthony, the pass to Doncic. Howard setting the pick for Doncic. Howard in the post. That's against Jordan. And Howard slams it home. And, and Howard still a forceful finisher around the rim. Raptors trail by three. Pass to McGrady. Jordan kicks to Pippen. 137 left to play here in the third. Just five on the clock. Here's Jordan. And the layup's good off the glass. Jordan's got 11 here in this quarter alone. The yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Harden dishes to Doncic. Howard with a screen on Jordan. A flawless finish on the alley. Howard's got the lead up to three now for the Lakers. No hesitation at all on the alley. -oop. Saw his teammate with a pad to the hoop and bang, lobbed it right up there for him. The and he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Yeah, and how about Pierce there? Immediately squares himself up from outside, always prepared to rise and fire. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Anthony. Doncic against Jordan. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Robinson's got six rebounds here tonight. 
Jordan against Doncic. Here's the pass to Pippen. Leonard with the steal. From down in the low post, it goes. Leonard's got his first basket of the night. And busting it up the floor, Leonard's showing a lot of energy on the fast break. If there's one thing he doesn't lack, it's hustle. For Toronto, they have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for six. At the line for the Raptors, Tracy Mulgrady taking two shots. First free throw is good. One of the most ferocious scorers in the game. McGrady's length and athleticism is so difficult to contain. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Howard setting the pick for Wade. And here's Anthony from the arc. No good that time. Third quarter comes to a close, and a bubble brings it to a tie. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. The Raptors, 49. Tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Here's Marburg. Kevin Love out there with Howard. Then it's Harden. Then there's Wade. And it's Leonard in at the small forward. That's the Laker five. Passes to Marburg. Now Wembenyama over Howard. Wembenyama gets the bucket. Ben Benyama has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Toronto. Love with the screen for Hutton. Outside left, just away. Howard with the screen on the green. And the rejection by Ben Benyama. McGrady against Wade. Now, here is McGrady. Defense right on him. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. A two-point game. Love with the screen on McGrady. Here's Wade. Right through the cylinder that time. All net. And the ball handling of Wade. Outstanding work. Getting crafty with it and converting because of that creativity. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Wade against McGrady. Duncan with the screen for McGrady. Shot clock at six. The Lakers with the rebound. Pass to Harden. Love with the screen for Harden. Inside, he's looking for Love and finds him. Leonard picks to Wade. Takes a shot at the elbow. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Wade's got four this quarter. And, guys, the best thing about Kawhi picking up assists is that it's contagious. When you've got a dominant score setting his teammates up, and everyone falls in line. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Harden finds love. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. The pass to Howard. And here's Leonard from three. It's good for one range. And the Lakers lead by five. Wow. Kawhi sticking in the dagger. He's someone you have to chase off that jump. McGrady passes to Marburg. There's the dish to Pierce. This is it to Marburg. One up, up again. It's good on the putback. 
You know, you have to be aware of Wimbenyama on the boards. Really keep a body on it. And the Lakers call time here. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Wembenyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? <laughs> well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But yes, what's amazing is that I still think he's grown, which is scary for the rest of the league. Anthony's checked in for Los Angeles. Luka Doncic comes in for Wade. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. He was able to listen in on Darvin Ham and his team. Now, he was quite encouraging in the huddle. He said, look, you're fighting out there, fellas. I can see it. I need you to keep giving everything you have. Bring this one home. We'll see if they can pull it off, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. Love outside. To the inside. Anthony down low, guarded by Pippen, and the officials call him for a three-second violation. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Ren Benyama, a screen on Doncic. Howard with the steal. Harden against Jordan. Bobbed up there for Howard. Robinson with the block. And clearing the deck, the Admiral. His net and reaction time, so impressive. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Anthony kicks to Doncic. And again, no good by the Lakers. Raptors trail by three. Now here's Jordan. Fires the three. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Yeah, putting the team on his back as he often does. The tighter the game gets to more Jordan wants the ball. Howard at the elbow. Harden against McGrady. Harden outside. Just four to shoot. Howard. That one, no good. Excellent D that time from Robinson. McGrady against Harden to take the lead. Love grabs the board. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, <laughs> to right now, he's this just in his hard. own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Some players shrink when the pressure's on, but he lives for these moments. Pass to Jordan for three. That's good. Great play set up by T-Mac. Tracy McGrady. McGrady's got four assists now tonight. And so Harden will bring it up for Los Angeles. Howard with a screen on McGrady. From T. Harden. Rebound by the Raptors. Robinson's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Pippen dishes to McGrady. Jacks up a three. And again, Toronto with the triple. And, and how about getting a hand up on McGrady, especially when he's looking to shoot from the outside. And the Lakers call time here. They're down by three. 139 left in the fourth quarter of this one. One thirty-nine left here in the fourth quarter. Harden against McGrady from downtown. Out to Anthony. Takes a three. 
Good on the three-point shot. Anthony's got an all-time count for Los Angeles. I mean, who else do you want taking this shot? Anthony, a natural scorer in any situation. Jordan against Doncic. Shot, high post, and there are the Raptors with another bucket. Boy, I, I'll tell you, there's an art to doing this. What's amazing is how often Jordan hits the flush out. McGrady against Harden. Howard with a screen on McGrady. Down low. Howard can hit. Okay, they came close there to tying it up. You love the intensity out there right now. Close game. Both teams leaving it all out there. And defensively, you can't back off him that much. And you don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Harden. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Few guys can be as trusted as Harden when you're in these situations. He knows how to get it done. Robinson a screen on Doncic. Jordan kicks to McGrady. Bucket six. It's all in by Los Angeles. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by three. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul game. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101. But boy, is it working. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. Eleven seconds left to play here in the fourth. From deep, Harden, right between the arms. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. One of the best scorers in the clutch. Harden doing it again. And the Raptors call time here. It's tied at 67. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Seven seconds left in the game. Here's Jordan. Ooh, off line. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is off line. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. And we'll be back right after this. Now, Doncic, Victor Wembenyama is out there with Pippen. Then it's Robinson, then it's Jordan, and it's McGrady in at shooting guard. Doncic passes to Howard. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Four on the shot clock. The three for Doncic, and Jordan sends it back. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position, Jordan can do it and help defense or on the ball. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. It wasn't perfect, but it was enough to give them the lead. The Lakers trade. Pass to Love. Back to Harden. 
Love with the screen on McGrady. Here's Harden. Howard trying to free himself up. It's blocked. Pippen dishes to Jordan. Two minutes remain in overtime. Two minutes. Sinks that one from the post. Jordan's got 35 in the game. And not much else you can do. I mean, defensively, you try to make it hard on Jordan without fouling, but he's just too dialed in. Harden against McGrady. Good on that shot, and with that, they try to lose point to just one, and they lost it from James Harden. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Well, overtime basketball, a minute and a half played so far. In the corner, it's Ren Binyama. Here's McGrady. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. From deep Harden. Caps in the tray. Harden's got 26. He's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the power. And, of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Oh, I see. Picking the worst time to lose control. This is why patience is the key in big moments, people. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of four on their shots here in overtime. Shot. The footback, it drops. And you can see the determination in Howard's eyes. He relishes the opportunity to provide big baskets like that. Toronto calls timeout. They trail it by four. 43 seconds left to play in O2, and this battle continuing. the wing, Tracy McGrady, guarded by Harden. Jordan's shot is off, and now they decide to foul intention. Michael Jordan, back to his second person foul. First team foul. So it's the Lakers now, and that's an intentional foul. Tracy McGrady, his third personal foul. Second team foul. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. Both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. And he adds to the lead with some very solid free throws. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by six. 29 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Let's hear it, man. Give your Lakers youth and team a big round of applause. Lakers on D. Here's McGrady. Good! And now they trail by just four. Well, how about the vision by Wimbanyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. Michael Jordan. His third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Lakers. He drops the first one. That puts them up by five. Second one is good. In both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And they double up Jordan. <laughs> Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Luka Doncic. As if Jordan weren't challenging enough to guard. Uh, the little up fake there, putting the defender at his mercy. Two shots. Take a break. 
Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that brings them within five. So Jordan nails both of them. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. The fourth team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Luca Doncic. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good, and it's a six-point ball game. You can't waste any time here. It needs to be a quick shot, then a quick foul. Pippen outside. Shoots the three. It's good from beyond the arc. So it's the Lakers now. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. His fourth personal foul, fifth team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Luca Doncic, two shots. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And you'd rather not foul Doncic here because he loves getting to the line and delivering. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Making no mistakes and putting some extra nails in the coffin right here. That pretty much good. Here's Wembenyama for three. And so the Lakers take the win. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally...